Good morning students I hope you understood the previous chapter and are interested in learning more about the planet earth Today we will start with landforms First of all what are landforms The natural features on the earth surface are known as landforms We all know 29% of the earth surface is covered with landmass which is not same everywhere At some places we have mountains plains plateaus desert volcanoes etc these are the examples of natural features of our different landforms of our earth the processes involved in the formation of these landforms can be divided into two parts endogenous processes exogenous processes endogenous processes these forces occur deep inside the surface of the earth for example volcanic eruption and earthquakes are responsible for the formation of new landforms exogenous processes these forces occur on the surface of the earth for example weathering and soil erosion are responsible for the formation of new land features on the earth's surface weathering weathering means disintegration decomposition and decay of rocks on the earth's surface the factors in the atmosphere which are responsible for the weathering are humidity rainfall temperature frost etc erosion the weathered material is carried by the agents of erosion like rivers glaciers winds and waves etc Let us study the major landforms of the earth mountains mountains are huge masses of land that rise much above the surrounding area to great heights above sea level mountains have steep sloping sides sharp and slightly rounded ridges and peaks on the basis of origin the mountains are of three types fold mountains block mountains volcanic mountains fold mountains these mountains are formed as a result of the compression of tectonic plates which leads to the formation of large fold like structure on the earth crust the upward fold is known as anticline the downward fold is called syncline now with the help of this video you can understand the formation of fold mountains fold mountains fold mountains are formed when the layers of the earth's crust are folded by compression To make your own fold mountains with the help of some hand towels, lay 10 hand towels on a flat surface and place two shoe boxes on each side like shown here. Push the shoe boxes towards the center as shown. This activity shows us how fold mountains are formed when forces move towards a common center. The Aravalli Range in India is an example of old fold mountain. It was formed over 250 million years ago and has gentle slopes and low altitude due to weathering over time. The young fold mountains were formed comparatively recently, about 25 million years ago. These mountains are rugged and lofty. They comprise the world's highest mountain ranges like the Alps of Europe and the Himalayas of Asia. Types of fold mountains. There are two types of fold mountains: young fold mountains, old fold mountains. Young fold mountains, they have been formed around 35 million years ago. they are characterized by their steep slopes deep valleys and pointed peaks which are covered with snow 
volcanic activities and earthquakes are common in the young fold mountains for example the himalayas the andes etc old fold mountains they have been formed 70 million years ago these mountains are lower in height as they have been eroded by agents of erosion these mountains have rounded peaks for example the urals and the aravallis etc block mountains these mountains are formed when faults or cracks are formed on the earth crust due to tension which result in the sinking of the land between two faults the blocks or land left side standing on either sides are known as block mountains let us study the formation of block mountain with the help of this video block mountains Block mountains are formed when cracks or faults occur in the earth's crust and the land between the cracks sinks leaving upstanding blocks on either side. Block mountains are also known as fault block mountains. You can make your own fault block mountains using a long eraser. Take a long eraser and use a pencil to draw fault lines on it. Use a cutter or blade to cut the eraser across the lines drawn earlier. Place the pieces of the long eraser together to make the eraser whole again. Apply a little pressure on the corner pieces and lift the whole eraser above the table. Slowly pull the corner pieces apart and you can see how the land in the middle of fault lines subsides and block mountains are formed on either side. The edges of such mountains are steep and the surfaces are almost level. An example of block mountain is the Vosges in Europe. The marble rocks at Jabalpur are an example of block mountains found in India. volcanic mountains these are formed by volcanic eruption when molten lava ash dust and gases come out from deep inside the earth on the surface through the cracks in the earth crust and accumulate around the volcanic vent cone shaped volcanic mountains are formed for example mount vesuvius and mount kilimanjaro etc Let us understand the formation of volcanic mountains with the help of this video. Volcanic mountains. Volcanic mountains are built when molten lava, ash, cinder and dust from deep inside the earth come out on the surface through cracks in the earth's crust and accumulate. A magma chamber is a reservoir of magma within the earth's crust beneath a volcano. The viscous magma traps hot gases within it which are released suddenly during an eruption. The magma, originally oceanic crust, also contains large volumes of water which in its gaseous state of steam increases the pressure within the vent. The release of gases and steam under high pressure increases the likelihood of a violent eruption. The opening through which lava and other materials come to the earth's surface is called a vent. The funnel-shaped depression at the top of a vent is called a crater. The rock plug left below the crater from a previous eruption blows off violently, creating a hail of ash and rock. Violent eruptions result in the collapse of the top of the cone. Secondary or parasitic cones are formed on the sides of the volcanic mountain. The cone's steep sides are formed after the sticky acid lava pours slowly down the side of the cone and cools quickly. 
Each eruption first produces rock fragments, which are later covered by lava, forming alternate layers on the volcanic mountain sides. Importance of mountains. Mountains are very rich in minerals. For example, the Andes in South America are rich in tin and copper. Mountains act as a climatic barriers. For example, the Himalayas obstruct the summer monsoon and cause rain in India. The Himalayas do not allow the cold winter winds from Central Asia to enter India. Pasture lands are found in the mountains where sheep and cattle graze. The trees provide raw material to a number of industries. For example, they provide food pulp for paper industry. Rivers originate from mountains. We draw water from the rivers for irrigation, electricity generation and navigation. So today we learnt about mountains its types and their importance in our life. Thank you and have a nice day.